<laughs> you're right in there. <laughs> yeah, you're right.
Whilst in period, we believe that they did, did that. We would never use the pump in. The only one that people have been known to use is cold. Not just cold disease, and fever. So it was, it was believed yeah. in period that the body has got four humours. So you, when you're ill, you're either too hot, too cold, too wet, or too dry. So a lot of the time, if you would, if you had like a cold, phlegmy sort of cough, so you, they would use either fever flu, meadow sweet, or if you were rich enough, they would use things like pepper, anise, and nutmeg. So it was one of those things of that, lots of that, and then to the, again, kind of there was reasons behind it. So a lot of our things, so if our rich people have got clothes for toothache, sadly our peasants have only got this, with no pain relief. Because in period it was, occasionally they gave you belladonna, most of the time they didn't, most of the time they gave you...
So, Sway is a Eurasian eagle owl. Eurasian eagle owls are one of the largest species of owl in the world. And as the name suggests, is quite widespread throughout most of Europe and Asia. Sway, however, people want to like for Sway. Sway, however, is actually quite small for what he is. Female birds of prey are up to a third larger. So because he is a male, he's quite small. And the females can be up to two kilograms in weight and visibly bigger. Now if we look at Sway's lovely plumage, you'll see he's got all these light and dark mottled feathers on his chest. And then on his back, he's got again light and dark mottled feathers, but slightly darker in the front. If you look at his face, just underneath his chin, he's got a few white feathers. Now these are used for communication. So in the wild, if Sway wanted to impress her, a lady owl, try and get himself a girlfriend, what he would do is he would call over to her, oh, lovely poo, in the arena. Thank you, Sway. Um, and these white feathers underneath his chin, he can actually puff them out and shrink them down again. And it almost looks like he's just flashing off a little white diamond underneath his chin. And it just acts as a visual aid to his vocal cords. Now, Sway is in the middle of molting. And what that means is that once a year, all of the birds, they drop out their old feathers and start to grow new ones through. They don't have continuously growing hair like we do. Their feathers have got to last a full year. So he's currently molting, and he doesn't really have some of the big main striking features that these birds usually do. But he does have small versions. So if you look at the top of Sway's head, you'll notice it looks like he's got two big eyebrows. Usually they are double, even larger than double the size, but they've all fallen out, so if you've got some new ones for him. They're not horns, they're not ears, they are just feathers, and these are called plumy horns. Now the way that I remember that word is most people call them horns, so horns you think of unicorn, the word for feathers is a plumage. You mix those two words together, plumage, unicorn, plumy horns. I don't know if it will help any of you, but that's how I remember it. And these are used for a couple of things. One being camouflage. If you look at all of those feathers, once Sway gets into a tree, he will just absolutely vanish. And when he's had enough of the day and he wants to be left alone, he'll fly up to a tree and he'll squish himself up the side of the trunk and he just disappears. So then he'll stick those plumicorns right up in the air and it just helps to even further break up that standard outline of an owl. Good boy. So they really do disappear. They will bird parents. Sway! Come in then. And that's why you see little ducklings always chasing after their mum, because they've imprinted on her. But we call those birds parent reared. Whereas if a bird is imprinted on a human, we call imprints. So I have imprinted Sway to me, so he thinks I'm mum. That's why he keeps shouting at me all the time. A little baby bird in the nest will call to its mum for food all of the time. Birds grow inc incredibly quickly. They need a lot of food. But when that bird has grown... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll just go uh, out and I'll just out of the way, I'll, I'll bring her back down for you. Come on then, it's on the floor there. Right, look, the food is right there on the floor. Nobody touch her, just to give her a bit of space. Come on then, Harriet. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My little baby is this is my decoration to make look handsome. It's the ladies like medallion man, don't they? Yeah. They do. They do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Very good. Good. You Will you film me? Yes. Oh, moving one. Yeah, why, why? In that case, we'll do some moving. Good. Very good. You all right in there? <laughs> yeah, you all right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Come on, come on, Mike. Come on,